Good morning, good morning, good morning. Y'all know we need these numbers up. Let's see how this thing go. Okay, here we are. What's good? What's good? What's good? Where we at? Carlos, what up with it? Terry, what up with it? All right. This morning's message, what I got? Incognito and uh, incognito Deidre take uh Good morning, sis. All right. Hey, man, a lot of shit to talk about. Hey, this morning's message is brought to you by TR. TR Riser, T-Man Performance. What up? You can see I got my original T-Man Performance coffee mug. I'm going to add my whole tablespoon of sugar. I don't give a fuck. Shut up. Shut it up. I don't want to hear that shit about sale. You need to be doing it. No. And on some real shit, I'm going to add my last drop of chocolate in my shit. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, my last drop of cheese chocolate. E! Yeah. I like my shit shaking, not stirred. <laughs> All right, anyway. Good morning, everybody. Um, it's been a busy week. It's been a lot of education on Facebook. Huh? Y'all been learning a lot of shit between me and my man, John Bunch. Shout out to my man John Bunch, man, for doing this thing. I gotta add my little creamer. Hold on one second. I ain't doing no product endorsement, so I ain't showing y'all no names and shit. Yeah. They got to pay me. What we got on here? Uh, Nolan, Brandy, what up? Orlando, what up? Diedrich, what up? Keith, what up? Hey, you already know Keith, fat boy to the end on some real shit. All right, what up, sis? I gotta take my vitamin, so I'm drinking my coffee to take my vitamin. And quit judging me. Y'all gonna stop judging me with the bullshit, man. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, that's him. Mm hmm Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, first off, I want to tell everybody I love you, because I truly do. All bullshit aside, I truly, truly the fuck do love you. I know, I know y'all might not be, I might not, I know y'all might not be used to Nobody telling y'all that, but this cat here loves you, man, for real. Um, you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna shoot gold bricks drinking that, hey man. I ain't got no problem with my shit game. Trust me, you you, you don't no problem with my shit game. So anyway, take my vitamins too, y'all. See, I'm taking my vitamin. This motherfucker right here, just to help keep that thing thing wang wang. Bang, bang. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I take about 80 of these little multivitamins, especially fucking with y'all. Nigga need his vitamin. He need to be as, as healthy as he can be. Look at me when you talk to me. Tell me that you love me. I love you, Lily. I truly do. Anyway, so these are some multivitamins, some vitamin A's, B's. At one time, I used to couldn't take pills, man. It was hard for me to take pills. For some reason, I just, you know what I'm saying? I had that, uh, some of them females, I can't swallow. Yeah, well, you gonna swallow there. So, Marcus, what it do, my man, Arkansas? Exactly what I was gonna say, Lily. Say, man, I got the camera set up and I'm doing some other shit. And I'm trying to show y'all some shit. See, that's the problem. You know what I'm saying? Us folks, we want it all. It ain't it ain't even it ain't good enough that I'm even taking my time out of my day just to say hello and to say good morning and to teach you something. But now you want me to personally look at you and all this kind of shit. Well I tell you. Anyway, for those who just checking in, today's message is brought to you by T Man Performance. My man T R Riser, one of the best motor builders in the game. Him and my man Greg Dole, GMS Racing, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I think T Riser is in um Somewhere uh, in Maryland. I mean, in uh, no, in North Carolina. I don't know, but he's out that way. Hit him up anyway. So shout out to them. All right. Ah. 
All right, so I got my pills down. I got all my vitamins. I'm drinking my little shot of mud. And I want to talk about it. Okay, so. Lately, between me and my man, John Bunch. A lot of vitamins. Geez, yeah, I know. I know, Brandon. Good morning. What up, Quint? What up, with it? Gotti. My man, Gotti, man. Another miracle. I love you, brother. I really do. Trying to do too many things at one time. Got to multitask, Brandy. The world ain't going to wait for you to do one thing at a time. You're going to have to grab it all and keep it pushing. Hold on. Let me grab my... <laughs> you finna grab your pad, Crystal? All right. So there's been a lot of information put out. My man, John Bunch, again, shout out the National President of Black Sabbath. Um, been putting out a lot of information. We've been actually working together, man, to um, to bring you guys this stuff. Now, let me let me tell you this. A lot of stuff that we're saying is only what we know, and it's only what we've researched. John has probably been in the game a lot longer than me, and has been through a lot more than me, so he has a lot more specific. Plus, he likes to write likes to write a lot of stuff down. I'm not really too much into the writing thing, but he's getting me into that. We're trying to get this book. I'm going to be writing a book with him, with his assistants and his publishing company, the whole nine yards. So shout out to my man, John Bunch. But in the meantime, oh, let me show y'all this too. Hold on. I've showed y'all these before. These are some of the books that you should have in your repertoire. You should have these books in your repertoire. Soul on Ice. This is about the East Bay Dragons, one of the oldest black motorcycle clubs documented. One of them. I'm not going to say the oldest because we don't want to get into technical terms on who been around longer. But he gave you some history. He gave you a place to start from. And that's all me and John is trying to do is give you something to start from, some type of foundation on the bike set that you say you love about. So anyway, this is a damn good read. My man Toby, Toby Jean wrote that one. This is one of John's new books, the the PRO, the PRO's Bible. I haven't even started reading this one yet. Um, been kind of busy on the road. But that's one of John's books. That's my man John Bunch, okay? Hold on, this is gonna probably be about some business right here. Yes, ma'am. Okay, you ready? Not really, but I don't have a choice. I'm on Facebook Live, but go ahead. What do we got? I'm away from Facebook Live. What do we got? Hold on. 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 I got two of these. Actually, I ordered one from Amazon, so I've already got that. This one I'm keeping brand new. Uh, actually, he sent me another one that he's going to autograph so that I can frame it up in my garage. Both of these. So, But I'm going to actually have to read this one. So anyway, these are some good books to have. And basically, all of these books do is just give you a foundation. We're not saying that as God. What up, Tracy? My sister Tracy. Uh, my sister Janessa. What up, Janessa? Sophia, Sophia, Sophia. Anthony Simpson, what it do? My man Diddy Hypnotic, I'll see you, baby. So basically, only thing we're trying to do is give you a foundation to have something to start from for this bike set stuff. Because a lot of people are not teaching you guys this, and for whatever reason, they don't want you to know. I don't know. Jay, what up with it? My boy Rags, what up with it? So a lot of stuff is not being taught to you. Okay. Hello? She hung up on me. She's going to call back. Uh, a lot of stuff is not being talked to you for whatever reason. I don't know. But those are just some good starts. And this is another thing I'm going to tell you, too. Charles Rayfield, what up with it? Elijah, what it do? One of the things I want to tell you guys is this. Is that anything I say, anything John say, do your own research. Do your own homework. We're not the gospel. We're not God. We we didn't invent the motorcycle club. We didn't start it. But we just some cats who have the passion to to want to learn and to want to and to want to know. And we we've, we've we've did that. I mean, we we've, we've taken our time and did the research for it. And uh, 
and put it down. So, anything I say, chat down. Y'all didn't tell me I'm a sipper shit. Y'all got me on, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, anything that you hear from us, do the research, challenges on it. Especially me, because I don't know shit. Trust me, I don't. I'm only, I'm only me trying to do me, learn me, and ride my motorcycle. That's all I'm trying to do. So, what up, Angela? Um, so that's that. But again, applaud the effort of the individuals that are bringing you the information. I got a phone call asking me about Sucker Free MC. I think my man, I think his name is Priest or Guest or whatever. There's a couple of people that host that. It's rumored that uh, I guess there's some outlaws that actually host that. I don't know. I haven't really got into Sucker Free MC that much. Um, a lot of brothers don't want to learn nothing but how to act a fool. You're right, Ted. You, you, Ted, you got a cool little point. Um, and it, Okay, back to Sucker Free MC. I don't really know a lot about Sucker Free MC. But I do read some positive stuff on there. I do read some stuff on there. Hell, they even went bad on me um, on, on some stuff negatively. And, you know, some people, you know, told them, hey, man, you don't know sale or whatever. And, and it is what it is. But it's not about, for me, I can read three pages and grab one sentence of positivity. And I'm fine with that. I can read three pages of bullshit but grab one sentence of positivity. And I'm fine with that. And that's what we all have to be. Whenever... I'm speaking or whenever John or whoever speaking. Don't don't listen to him to criticize it. Just listen to it to to possibly hear something that you don't know or to possibly get a hear something that can take you in a direction of research that you need to go to. Because that's what it's all about. At the end of the day, it's all about research. At the end of the day, it's all about knowing what you need to know. Like I tell people all the time, especially in my club. Don't believe it because Sal said it, but believe it because you know it. Because one thing about it is this. We've all done this. You've been in a conversation where motherfuckers say, yeah, 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 yeah. What up, LV? Ask that nigga LV. LV was right there with me. Now, LV was there, but LV don't know what the fuck went on. But he was like, yeah, 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 I was there. I was, you know what I'm saying? LV, tell him. He's like, oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, that's what it was. But LV really don't even know what the fuck was said or what was going on. He was there. He heard some shit, but... You know he can't he can't vouch for it or had a confidence to vouch for it like if he had a if he had a researcher to done it or actually known it for himself. What up, my man G Street on there, Mister Six O'clock? I love you, brother. Another one of the FHO supporters, big time man. Um, he stay feeding the FHO family, make sure we eat. So I love him for that. Hold on, listen, I got this little call real quick. Yeah, you ready? You can't click him in. Yes, hello. How, how you doing, man? How you doing, sir? I'm fine trying to get this together. Um, I need to pay um, 150 This is her, uh, this is the uh, birthday present, I guess. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. So, while I handle this, I got to hold on. I got to pay some bills for my daughter and stuff. So, anyway. Um, it'll be credit card. No, you don't have to. Credit.
Yeah, that's what I do with the Okay, yeah. She can handle the last part of it. Thank you. All right. King Measy, what up with it? Hey, well, tell my daughter I said, hey, I tell her I love her, and uh, tell her to call me later on the house phone. All right, buddy. So, sorry about that. I had to take care of that business with my daughter. All right, so what I'm saying is this. We're not gods when it comes to this. And I, again, thank y'all for holding on while I had to go handle that. We're not gods when it comes to learning nothing. I'm, I'm just me. And everything I know, I know from asking people and asking OGs and asking some of the older cats that are on the set, you know, you know, how to, you know, what started it? What was this? What was that? And again, I'm asking all you guys to do your own research, to know this, because like I said, um, you need the confidence to know. You need the confidence to know. Just say, speak up loud. I'm trying to write down your credit card. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. May need you to delete this post. Pronto, <laughs> they got your card number. I ain't play it, man. It don't matter. Uh, it, it, don't, it don't even matter. You try to use that motherfucker if you want to. But, uh, so, the biggest thing is this. The, the, the biggest thing is this. Is that, um. Uh, <laughs> the biggest thing is this is that when it comes to educating you about this set about who is who and what is what you got to have that inside for yourself like I said there's nothing like having the confidence to know uh, um, there's nothing like having the confidence to know what it is you need to know especially when you start um, um, especially when you start to have conversations about it you know, when you go to speak about something, you should know what you're speaking about. So do the research, man. Do the homework. But it's a lot of information that we're going to be trying to put out there. Some people like it. Some people don't like it. People have asked me, who am I to, to you know, give information or who am I to, uh, you know, to even care to, to let to want to tell y'all about the information. And for me, for me, it's, it's just simply about... Um, just us knowing, man, because we have to get back to what it is that we lost. And the motorcycle set right now is lost. You can say what you want to say. Yes, people are getting yonder. Yes, people are riding their motorcycle, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But we lost, man. We have forgotten what the motorcycle community was really about. We have forgotten what, what the definition of brotherhood is and what it stands for. Um... We, we need to get back to that. We need to get back to being, again, a private entity. I know y'all been hearing me talk about a private entity. The motorcycle club used to be private just like the Masons are private. The Masons, if you're a Mason, all that stuff is kept in secret, secret handshakes, secret signs, secret codes, the whole nine yards. I mean, you move around in the public, but if you don't know, you don't know. You feel what I'm saying? And you can't even ask a Mason, you know, about Mason stuff. So, I mean, that's what we need to get back to in the motorcycle set. And the reason why we need to get back to it because a lot of stuff is being watered down and a lot of stuff is being taken out of context, like the, like the show we all used to love and watch. For me, it was pure entertainment. But some people took the show and made it life or tried to make it life, like it was really life. Um, um, oh, Standby got some more FHO shirts on the way. They should be here tomorrow. So I only got a few. It's going to be like 30 or 40. But anyway, the remaining of my orders... So I'll be putting those up on the website when I get them. But back to what I was saying as far as that, as far as us being a private entity, we need to get back to where we're supporting each other. Let me tell you something, man. And I said this, and, and one of my man, Terry Campbell, said it really, it really hit him hard. It, it really made sense. Everything you need to survive in life is in the motorcycle set. As far as whatever occupation, somebody is that occupation. Whatever skill, somebody has that skill. Whatever knowledge you need to know, somebody has that. We got doctors, lawyers, judges, nurses, all of that shit right here in the motorcycle set. That ride. You know what I'm saying? They they ride and they are active in the motorcycle community. They, they're active in the set. And we have that right here. With all of those resources we have right here. It's almost like I would love to take, if you once you join the motorcycle club, you got to move to an island. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? It's almost like you would have to move to an island 
and um, just become, you know, solely dependent, solely dependent on the island, man. Um, because everything is there, all of the resources are there, everything we need is there. Like these clubs, man. You got a lot of clubs. Like a lot of people came to Kings of the South weekend and they had a good time. But understand this: the Kings was able to put on a hell of an anniversary. Um, because they've traveled. We've been to other anniversaries. We've been to places. We saw what they didn't do as opposed to what we would have loved done. And we understood that it's about the people. If you're in a club right now and your anniversary is about making money, you're in the wrong club because it's not about making money. Your anniversary is not about making a dime. It's about giving back to the people that supported you and to the people that, that, that you fuck with all year long. In the process... Will there be some money made? For sure. For sure. Because people going to, when you, when you give, people going to give back. But I'm telling you right now, I'm not paying 20 and $25 to get into your shit. I'm not doing it. I'm just not going to be able to do it. You charging $20 and ain't gave a motherfucker shit. Nothing but a punk ass party and a DJ. So basically... I take my chances better off. I'm going to pay $20 at the strip club, and at least I get to see some ass and tennis jiggle in my face. I pay $20 to come to your shit, and I don't get to see nothing but niggas standing around and talk shit and hate on another nigga. Imagine that. The bullshit. <laughs> so, man, we need to get back to, uh, <laughs> we just need to get back to what this shit is all about, man. But you're, you're not going to know what it's about. Coffee Got that chocolate up in there man. Shit But you're not going to know what the, what, what the set is, is about Because you won't leave your set You got to step outside of your You got to step outside of your Your city Your surroundings We call it 285 here You got to get outside of 285 Hell for me you got to get outside of You got to go past South Carolina Past Alabama, you can't go past Florida unless you're going to Cuba. But you got to get down deep. You got to get down in Miami. Shout out to Miami Rare Breed. What up with it? If any of y'all watching, shout out to them Rare Breed Miami boys at the bottom down there. But you got to get out of here, man. You got to get out of that and go other places, man, and and, and see because a lot of y'all gonna be surprised. Well, we doing the same shit, man. Eh? We doing the same exact shit they doing in the country. The shit y'all think y'all call country slow and small, bro, y'all on the same shit. I'm telling you. And they probably doing better numbers than y'all, and y'all in the big city. I'm just saying, on some real shit. Hey, HD Row, you know I ain't playing, man. If I'm going to spend a dub, man, at least I get to go to Blue Flame, get in for the free, spin, and then that give me 20 I'll get a nigga four lap dances, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Ass and titties in my face, butt naked. You can see their pubic hairs. You know what I'm talking about? I'm telling you some real shit, man, for the 20, man. But you want me to give you 20. What up, D? My brother D, what up with it? But you want me to give you 20 to come into your party and stand around and watch a whole bunch of other niggas stand around. And a whole bunch of other niggas stand around and look at me, mad because I'm me. Look at a female too scared to go holler at her, or tell her she's beautiful, or say what's up. You feel what I'm saying? Or want to criticize a bigger broad? Or, you know, I'ma call. I fuck it. I'ma say it. Want to criticize a big bitch? You feel what I'm saying? Cause she and that motherfucker doing her thing. Now some of y'all, again, to tap on the shoulder, some of y'all. But a lot of a lot of y'all is, is on point, you know. For the most part, y'all can get on point when you want to be on point. But that's all y'all want to do is sit around and Chris. I did the females. I think hell, I think y'all done y'all done moved out. And uh what up, what up, Andre? I think uh, uh y'all done moved out and uh y'all done moved out the way and let the niggas take over. Niggas is doing more hate than the females. It used to be back in the day. A female couldn't stand another female. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, bitch, look at that bitch. That bitch thinks she all that. You know what I'm saying? The bitch thinks, oh, that bitch, them shoes cute, though, but the, the wrong bitch got on the wrong shoes. You know what I'm talking about? All that kind of shit. Now the niggas do that. That's what the niggas do now. I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? That's what the niggas is doing. The niggas is, 
the, the Negro, the niggas, the niggas, uh, I'm saying niggas, N-E-G-U-S. The niggas is now standing around King, it stand for King, N-E-G-U-S. Now the niggas is standing around doing more hating and more whole shit than the, than the females do. On some real shit. I'm telling you some real shit. So we got we to gotta get rid of that shit, man. When you come to an anniversary, your job is to come show support and have the best time that you can have, man. I'm not worried about fuck is what you got on or... I'm not worried about, all I worry about, especially in my club, King of the South, when we host the anniversary, our main thing is hospitality and security. Hospitality and security. And one thing about the Kings, man, and I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say this as nice as motherfucking possible. And a lot of shit I can't say because I'm related to a club. If I wasn't in the club and it was just me, me against the world, boy, I'd give it to you motherfuckers. I really in the fuck would, I'd give it to you, but I can't because... I am a king, and I have a whole entire nation behind me that I have to be responsible for what I say. So, responsibly, I'm going to say this. You come fucking around over there with them kings and get out of line, we going to beat the skin off your motherfucking ass. Try it. Fuck around in one of ours if you want to and get out of line. I'm trying to tell you some real shit. We don't fuck with nobody. We don't allow nobody to be fucked with. And fuck who you is. Fuck your feelings and fuck everything else. When you come to the king shit, you're going to put some respect on it. And you're going to understand what it is. I'm telling you some real shit. And that's how it should be with everybody. When I come to your shit. I shouldn't have to worry about if my motorcycle going to get stole, you know, locking up my bike and, you know, got to carry a pistol and, you know, oh, man, fuck all that bullshit. And another thing, speaking of the security shit, if you got to bring a gun to another nigga anniversary, you ain't got no business at that motherfucker. You ain't got no business. At that motherfucker. If you got to bring a gun and all this other shit because you feel unsafe. Nigga, you ain't got no business at that motherfucker. I'm telling you some real shit. I'm just telling you some real shit. If you, if you go into an anniversary and you got a pack of gun with extra clips and hide the shit, man, fuck all that. Because let me say this. The only security is supposed to be at the party or the only weapons that's supposed to be at the party is the niggas that's hosting the party to secure the party. That's it. That's why at a common courtesy out of motorcycle protocol... You don't pat down a nigga in the vest because he already got the respect and the understanding that you got him. That we respect each other enough to where I don't give a fuck if, if I, I'll give you a perfect example. Shout out to my uh, president, BMO. What up? If BMO got a beef with, I'm going to use John Price. What up? What up, Jay? If BMO got a beef with John Price. We go to BMO and say, hey, BMO, G, uh, JP going to be here, man. BMO say, man, let it ride. That's exactly what it is. It ain't going to be no funk at our function. You're not going to do that. It's not going to be allowed. If BMO get out of line with John at our function. See, because at that point, it's not about you. It's not about BMO or John. Nigga, it's about disrespecting the house that the 78 built. That's what it's about. It's about disrespecting the house that 78 built. The party, wherever the party at or whatever, whatever in the fuck it is, that's what it is. My man John Bunch just came on. Jay, I just showed him your books, man, and just told him we've been working together and told him me and you are right. We're in, you're gonna, we're in the process of going to write a book together. But I just told him, um, you know, some other shit. You got to rewind the video. You're just not getting on. But, so... That's one of the things that you got to understand, man. Security and hospitality should be your number one goal. People when I, people ask me, Sal, man, how do the Kings get this many people to come to their event? How, how do they put on such a magnificent event? Nigga, because we give a fuck. We give a fuck. This year they had a committee, about 12, 13 motherfuckers, which was, it was what it was. But 12 or 13 different angles, 12 or 13 different attitudes, 12 or 13 different, uh, um, prospecting ways of how shit should have been done. But more importantly, the reason why we can put on one of the best anniversaries is because we go to everybody else's anniversary. 
For real. We go to your anniversary. We go to their anniversary. We go here. Damn. They did that. And we give motherfuckers credit. See, that's one thing about, I'm, especially I me, mean, I'm going to give you credit. When your shit fire, your shit fire. It, it is what it is. But I'm going to give you credit. I'm going to come. I'm going to be like, ooh, you see that shit they just did? That was play of shit. Check. Ooh, you should have seen that shit they did? Uh, damn, man, why they ain't got this? Fuck. Check. So I'm taking from, I'm taking, and I'm, you know, and I'm, I'm taking good, taking in the bad, making the corrections, so that when you come to our anniversary, um, we have been to Black Sabbath Atlanta, but we, I, I, matter of fact, you better go look on the old clubhouse wall, John. My name is on the wall. Yeah, that part. So, you know, you forgot you had to sign shit. Yeah, go look in there and you'll see some King's names on the wall, on the old clubhouse in the land. I don't even know if y'all still got it. I don't do local no more. That's my bad. Local is, you know what I'm saying? I just don't do local no more. I need to save all my money, time, effort, energy, tires, brakes and shit and two, all that shit for yonder. So I have not been there um, in recent time. Anthony, what up with it? You say you switched to HD. Okay, as you should have. Grown man shit. Felt, what up, Felt? Um, yeah. So, that's one of the things. That's the key. That's the key to a successful anniversary. Is you got to ride your motorcycle. You got to get out of support. But you motherfuckers charging $20 and $25, I'm not going to be at your shit. I'm not. And, I, let me, and, and I'm going to tell you something. If FHO come to your shit... And I got to pay, then I'm Marcel Tillman. So that means you don't get no camera, no footage, you don't get none of that shit. If I come to your anniversary and pay, then that's Marcel Tillman coming to pay. That's King Eminem coming to pay. That's him at the anniversary. King Eminem don't do all that recording and all that bullshit. Big Cell FHO do all the recording. That, that's him. So take it how you want to take it. What up, my sister Nicole on there, man? Did y'all hit up Nicole, man? I'm telling you, she done tasted the cereal. Nicole, what's your little stamp, man, on the, on the cereal so they know you done test, tested the cereal back? You feel what I'm saying? My sister Nicole all the way from motherfucking, from all the way from motherfucking Texas. So, anyway, a lot of information has been given over the last couple of days, man. Um, again, shout out to my man, John Bunch, and me. And we want you guys to learn this because we want this set to get back to what it used to be. I want to be able to be around y'all, homie, and 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 love you guys open heartedly, full, you know, wholeheartedly, without having to be worried about being criticized or without having to worry about, um, you know, just the bullshit. I mean, dude, all of us ain't perfect. All of us got flaws. Um, it is Pedro. What up with it, man? My man Pedro, Red Star holder. <laughs> Fuck you. You know what I'm talking about? I love you, bro. But um. It just is what it is for me, man. I mean, if I'm in your state, if I'm in your town, if I'm in your city, OMCs and regular, I try to shout out. I just I just try, hey, man, I'm in the town. I love to come by. Um, and, and that's one thing about the Kings, man. We, we fuck with everybody. We don't have no support of just one particular entity. We, we, we fuck with everybody. If you fuck with the Kings, we fuck with you. For real. On some real shit. What up, the Queen? What up, Queen, Queen, Queen? Um. So, what up, Nitty? Yeah. I don't know. It, this shit, man, that got to the point. I know you'll be here on the 3rd. Well, actually, we'll be back and forth, too. Now, I, I just got a phone call. I might get booked for Tennessee on the 3rd. I don't know. But anyway. Um. One of the biggest things, too, and I want, to, I want to speak on this real quick, is that, again, quit thinking that your motorcycle club owe you something. You know, quit thinking that once you join, you know, that they owe you. You have to make your way in this motorcycle community. You feel what I'm saying? The only thing they owe you is loyalty, brotherhood, honesty. I mean, they owe you the, they owe you the fundamental basics. Like I said, loyalty, honesty, respect. Um, you know what I'm saying? The 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 uh, the opportunity to be a part of the brotherhood because it takes a while, bro, before you can help a fix a bike set. Clubs got to help fix themselves. You can't really teach club set rules when you have club brothers that hate and disrespect each other. Start with them first. You, you're right. That's what I'm going to speak on now. 
I don't know, Nitty, I'll let you know. Um, if you join a club, okay, understand this, you're brand new, okay? Yeah, you did the prospecting period, and, you know, yeah, you came in, some clubs prospect. I think my man John Bunch spoke on that long. He prospected for five years. Pure dummy. Love you. <laughs> but he, he didn't do it, and he made it through. Some clubs do 45 days, 90 days, whatever they do, a year, whatever... Uh, I think Rare Breed do a two-year process can be cut down into a year, whatever it may be, um, 45 days, 90 days. But in, in, in prospecting, in, in, in prospecting, it is your job to learn as much about the club as possible, and it is the club's job to learn as much about you as possible. Okay. But after that process is done and you enter in, you get your patch, you get your full colors, the club don't owe you shit. It's your job to go in there and make yourself owe something, okay? It's your job to go in there and pay yourself. You feel what I'm saying? If I, if, if you sat around and, and waited for the club to, 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 to fucking pay you back or to owe you something or whatever, you're wasting your motherfucking time. You, you really are. And I, and I hate to curse you. I'm trying to get like John less cursing, but, you know. I want you to understand what I'm saying. And da da. So you're you're wasting your time because the only thing the club owe you, like I said, are the fundamentals, the opportunity to be a part of a brotherhood, the opportunity to be a part of this this unit that we have, this unity that we're trying to build. But you have to do your part. You gotta play your role. Let me tell y'all something. Ain't shit free. Brotherhood ain't free. Love ain't free. Loyalty ain't free. Ain't none of this shit free. Now, I'm going to tell you like this. Nothing is free. Well, Jesus is free. No, salvation ain't free. You got to ask for salvation. That's right. You got to ask for salvation. Ain't shit free. I'm telling you right now, if you believe that shit shit free, if you want to, you're going to fuck around and, 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 and take your ass straight to hell. And that's whatever you believe in. What up, KO? What it do? You're going to take your ass straight to hell because you thought it, it was free. Uh, I... I, I, I went to church, so I should go. Okay. Yeah, stand over there. Stand over there where it's a little hot at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, get closer, get closer. It's too hot. You keep on going. Yeah, take your ass on over there to hell if you want to. But ain't shit free. Salvation ain't free. If salvation ain't free. Now, Jesus' love is free. It's free, free, free indeed. But you got to at least have, accept. You got to do something to accept the salvation. Salvation ain't free. I'm telling you some real shit. So when you join your motorcycle club, that's what you did. You joined the club. The club didn't join you. So then, therefore, you got to make your way. You got to you gotta put in your work. You got to make your steps possible. You feel what I'm saying? I'm telling you. So quit thinking that your motorcycle club owe you shit. They don't owe you nothing. You better pay for your patches. Pay for your vests. Pay your dues. Uh, keep your motorcycle service. It call like my man John Bunch said. It costs to be in a motorcycle. If you broke and ain't got a job, then and when he say ain't got a job, that don't mean you have to have a job where you clock in and out of. But you got to have a job. F H O is my job. That's my F H O. You feel what I'm saying? You know. So I got a job. I ain't got a job like you got, but I got a job. But you got to be able to sustain your motorcycle. You got to be able to keep it tuned up, keep it maintenance. You got to be able to, to do all of that. You do. You got to be able to do all of that. Being in a motorcycle club costs. If you can't afford it, and, and let me tell y'all something. If you're in a motorcycle club and your wife is not understanding, she might not be in love with this motherfucker. Because a whole lot of wives and girlfriends inside, they not understand. They do not I know wives that hate the motorcycle club, but they hate it because of your ass. Because you out here bullshitting and you out here fucking around and you out here making the, the set look bad. Don't You got a lot of wives that's mad at the king of the south. Don't be mad at the king of the south. Be mad at the king that you got in the king of the south. I'm telling you some real shit. Don't be mad at the kings of the south. Be mad at the king that you chose that's in the king of the south. He the one fucking up. The king they fucking up. On some real shit. Don't be mad at Black Sabbath. Be mad at the motherfucker that you, the, the Black Sabbath 
that you got in Black Sabbath. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Um, so, if you're in a motorcycle club and your family is not a part of the club, meaning that they understand, that they support you, that, you know, they understand you're going to be gone on the weekend, because this is what you got to understand this. You got your, your work, which takes up about 40 hours. The average work week is 40 hours. Then you got your family, which take up at least 50 to 60 hours or 40 hours. Some of y'all 40 hours. So that's 40, that's 40, that's 80. So what time do you have for the, uh, for, for the motorcycle set and or anything else? You can't, the motorcycle set, you can't do two, you can't have two or three different hobbies and two or three different lifestyles. And be in a motorcycle club because something going to lack. The motorcycle club going to lack. If the motorcycle club is not your only outside hobby besides work in your family, then you're going to have problems. You're going to have problems. And some of y'all, some of y'all have fucked up so bad. Some of y'all have fucked up so bad that your family don't even trust you when your ass go to work. Mm. Yeah, you can't go to work without having motherfucking cheaters and shit follow you all the way to work and, and all that old kind of shit. You feel what I'm saying? You, you done fucked up that bad. Again, yeah, shout out to my man T-Man, T-Roger, T-Man Performance, sponsor for the day. So now, let alone ride your motorcycle, I wish you would ride that motorcycle today. You feel what I'm saying? You have to be on point, man, when it comes to this motorcycle shit. You guys got to stand up and be men. You got to stand up and be women. Because I can tell you right now, for Harley's Dangerous Motorcycle Club, females, ground pounders, all HDs. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm going to say this about Harley's Dangerous Motorcycle Club, and I want you to understand I say this with all love and respect. I truly do. Jaja, what up? That's why I say I have to have a man that rides. Civilian men are not going to understand that I just love to be on the bike set. They, and they're not. But I'm going to say this about my heart is angels. Uh, you females, up and down the highway, all over the world, on your motorcycle, riding and all that, and trying to keep a husband, that's some, that's some powerful shit. That, that really is some powerful shit. It takes a lot. It takes a strong woman and or a strong man, like Jaja said. In order to pull that off, because you have to understand this. First off, you got men hating on you because you got a road glide or a street glide. Because they ain't got no punk ass bikes. They ain't got no soft tails and no motherfucking, uh, 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 what's them little bitty ass bikes? Nitty, what's them little bitty ass, Queen, what's them little bitty ass bikes? Them fucking, uh, oh, Sportsters. They ain't got none of that shit. You ain't seen them heifers? Them heifers got road glides with beat and music and apes and and all that old shit, wheels and um, all that old shit. They got all that shit. Trust me. They ain't got that little bullshit. They ain't, when they pull up on you, you're like, well, God damn, what the shit is that? And she gonna holler mines. So you gotta understand that, man. It takes a family, it takes an understanding. When I joined King of the South, my whole family, my dad, my mom, Talk to the kids. Hey, man, dad going to be doing this. This is what he want to do. Because you got to understand this. If, if you're going to run the household the way it's supposed to be ran, if the man ain't happy in the household, whatever man you got, whatever nigga you got, whatever piece of nigga you got, whoever you got handling your, your day-to-day needs or weekly needs or whatever the fuck it is, whoever you got loving you, rubbing you, hugging on you, if he ain't happy, ain't shit else in the house happy. Tell me some real shit. Tell me some real shit. And then he know if mama ain't happy, he ain't happy, so it's fuck everything else. But when it comes to this motorcycle club shit, you this shit has to be done as a family unit. You have to have an understanding that um, you have to have an understanding that Earl Ray, what up with it? I'm hating on the Hardy's Angels. Hey, you, hey, you, you got a right to hate on them heifers. They. they they on some nice shit. Plus, John, you you know, John, you on some bullshit. You on a, I think you on a, a gold wing trike. You know what I'm saying? With an extra camper on the back of it. Some more shit you on, John. But we're going to get you together. We, we love you anyway. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, 
this shit take this shit take a unit, man. This shit take a family. I mean, this shit does. I'm telling you some real shit. When yo understand that I'm asking right now, men. If you the men that's married to Harley's Angels, homie, when them helpers coming in and say, "Hey, boo, I'm packing up. We get ready to go out of town for the weekend." You, huh? What the fuck? You, where y'all going? And then we ain't talking about no bestiality looking bitches. We ain't talking about no no uh, uh, duck mouth, duck mouth looking ass bro. We talking about you know, talking about some pretty, um, some pretty, really pretty decent uh, bros. I'm talking about some females, some grown ass women doing some real shit. Yeah. So when they come down the highway, oh yeah, niggas is looking at ass and titties like, oh god damn. Yeah. Oh, they're looking at that. They're looking at the bikes, the ass. So they catch hell all over the globe. But back to what I was saying. Men, we need to get back to the point of taking over this set, being gentlemen. Um, oh, Nikki, my sister Nikki. Let me tell you something. You don't know how many times, nigga, she done pulled up on the set. And niggas like, God damn, so who was that? Ponto. Ha! <laughs> Yeah, that part right there. And that ain't what you want. But you're going to ask it for yourself. If you don't believe me, ask it. She's going to tell you. Stephanie Hampton. Say, who was that? Dirty. Yeah, that part right there. Is <laughs> So you're saying is every biker ain't a hoe and every hoe ain't a biker? For sure. Every biker ain't a hoe. There's some, of us, there's some gentlemen out here. You know what I'm saying? There's some females out here that just really love to ride their bike and love their sisterhood. And can give a fuck less about what you ride and what you look like, what you wear. It is some, but it's some niggas out here too. Some 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 men out here that are just truly men. We ain't into, you know, the trying to fuck every broad or trying. Man, fuck all that. When I give you a hug, I really mean to give you a hug on some real shit. And I'm hugging you because, like I said, what the hug stands for on a bike set is this: we are in a dangerous. We have a dangerous profession, which is riding motorcycles. So when I hug you and say, hey, sis, I miss you. Hey, sis, I love you. I tell you that because I don't even never. You can walk away from me right in and there. And I might not ever have a chance to tell you that again. Because in this motorcycle shit, it happens that fast. I'm talking about that fast. Hey, sell, I'll holler at you later on. And it never happened. You know what I'm saying? It never happened. Shout out to my man Diesel. The morning of. Diesel, what you, I'm going to get ready to go to work, man. Shit, I'm going to call you when I get to work. Never got the phone call. He never got a chance to call me when he made it to work. R.I.P. my man Dizo, one of the greatest kings to ever do this shit. So, there are some beautiful women and some beautiful men on the bike set. And like I said, everything we need on the bike set, any, anything you need done is in the bike set. Ask. You feel what I'm saying? Give a motherfucker a chance. Period. If you need a plumber, doctor, lawyer, nurse, Shit, gynecologists, pediologists, and, and some gynecologists, and some health and fitness doctors, some trainers, and a house builder, construction worker, whatever the fuck you need is right here on the bike set. I promise you it is. I fucking promise you it is. So, again, let's get this shit back to what it's supposed to be about. Brotherhood, love, and loyalty. Trust. And I know trust is a hard thing to do, man. Fuck these niggas, man. I didn't trust these niggas. Yeah, but you on the bike said it's a little different. Well, it's supposed to be a little different. Supposed to be a little different. But we're going to start holding niggas accountable. What we're going to start doing is when you fuck up, when you get caught cheating and you get caught being a hoe, we're going to call your ass out. <laughs> we're going to call your ass out. You said we're going to start outcasting motherfuckers. That's what we're going to start doing. We're going to start outcasting motherfuckers because... You don't deserve to be around no way with your slimy, slimy, slime bucket ass. You feel what I'm saying? Hey Amen. And we should be, and we should be buying from another. So, it's so much shit to be done. So much work to be done on the bike set. Again, don't just take John Bunch word. Don't just take Big Cell word. Do the research for yourself. Get on your motorcycle and ride. Go somewhere. Ask somebody. And then understand this. It's different rules for different regions. Now that the Kings went national, we got we got Kings in different states that got to follow, you know, their rules are a little different from the rules that we have here and there and et cetera, and vice versa. You feel what I'm saying? 
And another thing, this just hit me right now. Who in this motherfucker don't understand that your motorcycle club is a game? Who in this motherfucker don't understand that you got to understand that you have to defend your territory, your game at all costs against anybody? So therefore, understand this. When you start a motorcycle club, you're saying we understand we're strong enough, we're big enough, and we we are um, together enough to support this and to hold this fort that we have here because that's what you're doing. You, you, you're building your own fort. So when 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 somebody approaches you or steps to you or whatever whatever the case may be, again I got to be try to be as politically correct as I have to. You have to be able to hold your own. Period. You have to be able to. You got to be able to hold your own. You can't be expecting people. To um to come to your rescue because if that's the case then you don't need to have a club. If you can't hold your own club, let that shit go, man, and get into a club that that you know what I'm saying that that's gonna put up with. But like I told y'all, motherfucker, I told you in the last video. Excuse me. If this is a hobby and not a lifestyle, if this is something you cool with and not love to do, if this is something that you know what I'm saying when I got time, not Air day, then stay your motherfucking ass around me. Don't put no vest on and don't say you in a motorcycle club. Please, because you're not. You, you, you are the bullshit and the trash that we need to get rid of. Period. If you, if you work 80 hours a week, you ain't got no time to be in a motorcycle club. If you work, if you work fucking or your wife won't allow you to go nowhere or you got kids, they got practices and, and they got, you know, this and this. If they, if all that shit going on in your life, then get your ass out the motorcycle club and just hang when you can hang. You feel what I'm saying? But don't be your motherfucking ass around me who who's living this shit, loving this shit, willing to die for this shit. And I'm saying that, willing to die for this shit. Because again, at any given moment, you feel what I'm saying, with the rags on, death can come in all forms, shapes, sizes, and colors. Accident, misunderstanding, miscommunication, or just the bullshit. Yeah. So you think that. So you think that. Um, what did John Bunch say? Ava, you say you agree with John Bunch. Uh, as far as. Oh, talking about supporting the. Uh, supporting the. Uh, um, supporting the clubs or whatever. Clubhouses. We Of course we should do that. Again, I go back to support each other. But if you think that. When something already happened. You can say, oh, wait, 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 I'm going to take my vest off. Oh, see, now I'm just a regular person. Man, please, you don't knock that shit off. They're going to knock your head off just like they're going to knock whoever else's head off when the time come time for that. And that's another thing, too. Everybody always say, well, the white boys are serious about it and the blacks ain't. No, no, no. Not the blacks ain't. Y'all niggas ain't. But some blacks are. We, we dead serious about this shit. You feel what I'm saying? And, um, again... You can say that's a difference if you want to, but if they're playing motorcycle club and we're playing motorcycle club, what's the difference? Same title, what's the difference? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. They live in motorcycle club and we playing motorcycle club. Well, y'all playing motorcycle club because I'm living motorcycle club. For real. With some real shit. So that might be. Some some black diamonds are dead serious about this shit. Oh, a lot of them. I mean, yeah, and, and that's what I'm saying. But I'm talking about, I don't even have to be a diamond, and I'm just as serious as a nigga with a diamond. How about that? If I can say that, I don't know. Can I say that politically? Can I politically say that? Lindor, what it do? I don't have a diamond, but I'm just as serious, I'm just as, serious as a nigga with a diamond. Yeah, just like he all in, I'm all in too for mine. Team 78. On some real shit. I'm all in. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I'm all in. Been there, done that, proved it, bought the book, wrote the book, and all that. I'm all in. And if you're not all in with the shit that's on your back, then you need to be all out before you fuck around and be ass out. How about that? All in or all out before you become ass out. Yeah. That part right there. You feel what I'm saying? My man Roy, what it do, Roy? What it do, Roy, my man, Roy McCray, Saturday, 16-17 is going down, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, North Carolina, Gotham City Bike Fest is going down, I'll be in the building, you better be in the building, Fashion Baggers, they will be there.
So that's one thing we have to start doing is you have to start making your brothers, your your brothers, so-called brothers that are next to you wearing the same vest you wearing, doing the same shit you're doing. You got to start holding them accountable. I'm telling you, you got officers in clubs holding positions that'll tell you, hey, man, this shit ain't that serious for me. Dude, that's the silliest shit in the world to me. When motherfuckers tell me that, I just... Because nine times out of ten, it's going to be, yo, this shit ain't that serious to me, dumbass, to do some dumb shit. Well, I'm going to have to make a serious decision about me and mine. Yeah, figure that part out what I just said. Nine times out of ten, it's going to be the motherfucker that's not as serious, that's going to do the dumb shit, that's going to cause the niggas that is that serious to have to make a serious decision about going home to our families and all that type of shit. So get your dumb ass away from me. This motorcycle set shit ain't nothing to be played with, homie. It ain't nothing to take lightly. I'm getting emotional. Hold on to me. Calm back down. This shit ain't nothing to take lightly. This shit ain't nothing to play with. And I don't care if you ride a goddamn sports bike or you ride a Harley or you ride a Goldwing, a Victory, whatever the fuck you ride. Just understand this, man. We need to get this set cleaned up. We need to get this shit back on point, and we need to start taking this shit serious. All the everybody right now that's watching this, evaluate what this shit means to you. Because I'm telling you, you don't have to have on colors to fuck with the clubs. You don't. My man LV say, and they do dumb shit because they don't know better. If this is your life, then learn your life. That part right there. You don't have to be a part of the club to fuck with the clubs. We, that's, one of, that's one of the good things about us and probably one of the, the bad things that we need to start. We fuck with a lot of people that we don't even know nothing about or just because you cool or you came around or another nigga vouched for you. Man, we fucking with you, man. Come on, man. So you can ride your motorcycle with us. You can come party with us. You can come hang with us. And you can even come help us do community service. You ain't got to be in the club to do that. You ain't got to be. But if you do go whatever mile you go to to be in a club, at that point, change your life. Get serious because we dead serious. I'm telling you some real shit. We all the way serious about the shit we a part of. I'm telling you, I done seen it. I done seen standoffs between this OMC and that OMC. Hell, I done seen standoffs between me and OMC. I, I done seen it. Been there, done that. I done seen it. This shit is serious. At any given moment, with me wearing that vest, it's a possibility that my whole life can change in, in that instant. And I understand that. And you better understand it. Because we got to clean this shit up, man. I'm telling you. And men, let me tell y'all something. We have to start back being men on the bike set. We have to start back understanding that it's It's us. I don't give a fuck about how fly your bike is. I don't give a fuck about how much money you make. I don't give a fuck about what kind of job you got. I don't care. All I care about is that you ride your motorcycle and we have a good time riding our motorcycle. You feel what I'm saying? I'm going to learn the shit I need to learn. And if I tell you something, fuck what sales say. You know, they can sell a number of motherfucking liar and all that old bullshit anyway. So fuck what he say. Do the research for yourself. And if you find me wrong, hey, Seth, you said this, but I found this out. Like me and my man John Bunch, we're going to have a debate about MC standing for men's club. He got some good points on that. I got some. So we're going to have a debate about that. Me and him going to get together and we're going to go live. And we gonna that's going to be real real fun and educational. I'm going to have to let my whole MC watch this one. If that's what you got to do. But let's get this shit back to brotherhood, love. Loyalty, respect, and number one, being real with this shit. That's the biggest problem. Folks worry about the next man and what he doing. Uh, hey, Ava, <laughs> you already know I know. If I make ten dollars, I done made. Nigga, the rumor is, I done made ten million. So. Tyrone, what it do? Anyway, I've been on here, I think, about long enough. I'm about ready to get off. 
But I love y'all, and that's from the bottom of my heart. If you ride a motorcycle right now, and if you're in a club, I hope this video helped you to make some type of decisions. Hope it helps you get, helps you get some type of directions. There's a lot of information that's been put out via John Bunch and me about rules and regulations. And again, we're not we're not nobody. Hell, you can call me TD Jakes and call him Creflo Dollar. We don't give for other motorcycle set because that's all I'm doing is giving you what I know. Um, this is what it is, man. So. Love y'all. Love piece of hair grease. If you're in a motorcycle club and you're not willing to die for it, get your punk ass out. If you're in a motorcycle club and it's just a hobby for you, get your punk ass out. If you're in a motorcycle club and your family not with it, they not supporting you, they you, you got the whole house in the uproar and some other shit, get your punk ass out. Because it takes a family in order to be an effective and good member of a motorcycle club. Your whole family, it takes that understanding. Um, if you work too many hours, you know what I'm saying, in your job, you know, you, I work 80 hours a week, sell, you know, money before everything else. Get your punk ass out. Well, say, you know, I got my kids, man, and shit. You know, my kids come first. Get your punk ass out. For real. If you can't find the balance between home, work, and MC, because all because MC deserves just as much time as home and work. I promise you it do. Well, why do you think you should be able to shortchange the MC? Why do you think the MC should be shortchanged because you giving everything else to the family and to work? Nigga, fuck you. I, the MC won't theirs just like everybody else. What up, Stormy? Big psych, what up? The MC deserved theirs just like everything else. Just like, for example, if you're supposed to work 40 hours a week and you don't go to work for, for, for 32 without an excuse, what they do? Fire your motherfucking ass, right? And at work, you only get so many excuses. Two, three, four, five, whatever the fuck it is. Sick days, call outs, family emergencies. You only get so many. Once you use them motherfuckers up, what they do? Fire your monkey ass. That's what we got to start doing in the motorcycle community. All you niggas with $80,000 80, excuses... You need to be fired. Man, we go, we're going out of town this weekend. You go, oh, man, I would go. But my daughter, man, you know what I'm saying? Um, she having a pool party or she got to go to school or, oh, no, the wife said, I can't go nowhere this weekend. Nigga, you ain't been nowhere no weekend. What the fuck is you talking about this weekend? You ain't been nowhere. Get your punk ass out. On some real shit. Hubba, what it do, my man? Hubba Bubba, man. Memphis, Tennessee, pound for pound. Love you, boy. For real. Keep doing your thing down there, too. Kimberly Rogers, all the way from Oakland. What it do, man? But all you excuse-having-ass motherfuckers for not riding your motorcycle, for not being there, for not being around, for not being a support, fuck you. Get your punk ass out. Leave the MC alone. That's what you do. Leave the set alone. We don't need you. We don't need your volunteer. The, the motorcycle set don't need your volunteer time, your extra time. We don't need, you know, we don't need that. Your spare time, we don't need that. We need your all the time. You feel what I'm saying? That's what the motorcycle set needs. The motorcycle set needs your all the time. We don't need your part time, your spare time, your, 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 you know, we don't need that shit. We need, we, the motorcycle set right now needs your all the time. And I'm, and I'm calling for, and I'm trying to hold all you niggas responsible in all these clubs. I'm telling you, it's going to be your fault, man. It's y'all fault that these niggas is, is able to get away with this sometime me ass shit. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, and another thing. All you clubs, 30 days out before your anniversary, now you want to start showing up and want to start doing this? Nigga, you already know. If you have not rode on the side of me, if I ain't passed your ass up on the freeway, you done passed me up or... Yeah, on the, I ain't talking about when I get to bike night, your punk ass in that bike night. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about if you ain't rode your motherfucker, if I ain't been with none of your members nowhere out of state, out of town, or on the freeway, don't invite me to your shit. Fuck you, I ain't coming. I ain't coming. I'm just telling you some real shit right now. I'm just telling you. You niggas gonna start riding your motorcycle or start getting disrespected around this motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm being as nice as I can because I am part of an organization, Kings of the South. If I wasn't the king from King of the South, 
baby. John, what am I doing, man? I don't know what I'm doing, John. I got to know what I'm doing in order to stop. What up, Prez? Yeah. Mm -hmm. My man, King Snoop, president of Kings of South Houston. Y'all better watch them boys. They got a lot of shit coming. So, I'm going to go and get my ass up out of here. I'm about done. Anyway, take your excuses. Ball them motherfuckers up. Wipe your ass with them. On some real shit. Get your ass out of town. Ride your motorcycle. Meet some people. Know some people. Learn some shit. Question some shit. Research some shit. Don't just go against everything you hear because, ah, uh, fuck that. Because it ain't what you want to hear. So you just going to go against it. Learn some shit. For real. Men. Time to start back being men. Time to start... There's nothing wrong with congratulating another nigga for having success on anything, for 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 making the for having the audacity to make an attempt to be better, or to have better, or to live better, or to want better. Because I want all of y'all to be better. Trust me, I want to be able to talk about all my friends. Like nigga, my nigga, so and so just got the eh, what that nigga doing big. Man, my nigga, so and so, my hunger, you see my hunger. Hey, trust me, don't know, ain't nobody more happy for you when you're doing better than than me. Anybody, you get a brand new motorcycle, you get a job, your kids go to school, college, straight. I'm I'm the happiest nigga in the world for you. I promise you I am. On some real shit. All in our ass and out and get ready to vote November 4th. That part right there, you heard what Greg said. You got two choices, Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton. Both of them is, is fucked up, but it is what it is, man. Hell, we should have put Hayden for president. So, I'm trying to get up out of here. There's so much that I want to say. But I'm going to end this shit. I'm, I'm going I'm to let y'all go and get back to y'all daily routine. But, hey, we need to start holding people accountable, man. All that are listening to a motherfucker tell you that this is just a hobby for them. They could care less. You know, then when it comes time to vote on who the new president or the vice president, the niggas don't show up. But then when they do show up, they always got something to say. They always got, well, well, how did this happen? How did that happen? Shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. Just, yeah. And again, quit being appreciative of niggas giving you their spare time on a motorcycle set. Of niggas giving you whatever time they got available on a motorcycle set. Quit being appreciative of that shit. 